The electric motor is one of the most promising technologies of the current age. It provides a way to transport people and goods without localized combustion. If engineers can figure out how to produce electricity in a clean way, and then store that electricity to be carried by automobiles, and do all of this at a reasonable cost, the world may change radically. Electric motors represent an application of the theory of electromagnetism. The basic idea is that we pass an electric current through a wire in the presence of a magnetic field. The magnetic field can be produced by a magnet or by another set of current carrying wires. The magnetic field generates a force on the wire, and we can harness that force to do work. In the animation here, we see a coil of wire rotating in a magnetic field. The magnetic field points from magnetic north to magnetic south. The orange balls within the coil represent positively charged particles. Of course, we all really know that it's actually electrons flowing in the opposite direction. But we've represented so-called conventional current here. In fact, a typical motor would include a coil with hundreds of turns of wire. That's basically impossible to animate here, so we're only showing one. The more turns in the coil you have, the more force you can apply, since each length of wire feels a force. However, a longer wire means higher electrical resistance, and then a higher voltage is needed to generate a given current, so there's a trade-off. The split ring commutator allows the electricity to continue to flow despite having moving parts. The ring is often connected to the circuits itself through still, flexible metal brushes that can maintain contact without impeding mo movement. The right-hand rule for magnetic force is represented at upper right. Let's pause the simulation and check out the relationship. If you form three axes out of your thumb, index finger, and middle finger, you can align the middle finger with a magnetic field, your index finger with a current, and your thumb will point in the direction of magnetic force. As you might have noticed in physics class, orienting your hand correctly can lead to some funny contortions of your hand. Speaking as a physics teacher, it's kind of fun to watch students attempt to solve problems during tests by making these hand signs. When experimenting with the simulation, you can manipulate the size of the motor, the strength of the input current, the strength of the magnetic field, and the number of turns in the wire. So play around, and thanks for watching.